So welcome to the next video. This one uh, I'm doing the insulation. So uh, first thing I've got to do is put this sound deadening mat on the panels, and that just takes out like the vibration and kind of road noise from all the, the panels in in and around the van. Uh, then I've got this thermo liner, so it's like an acoustic and thermal insulation. So that will go on top of all those panels. Uh, and then there's a wadding to go inside as well uh, and that obviously just helps insulate the van through all the cavities and things so uh, let's get to it so first thing you need to do is just remove all these trim panels um, and as with the ones before these can just be wound out and then the trim panels can pop off so I can get behind and then put the sound deadening and all the insulation in behind those that goes for all the panels around the van as well So now for the prep work for the sound deadening, so I'm just going to hoover out the bottoms of these cavities uh, just so that they're, they're clean um, and then wipe down all the surfaces with contact cleaner and then put the sound deadening panels on. Um, obviously there's, there's no window here so a panel will go on, um, you'll, you'll see that there's uh, the windows have been fitted, um, I'll show those in another video, uh, so these panels and the, the tailgate won't need doing. Uh, and then, then we can put the rest of the insulation in. So I'll do that now. And that just goes on the panel like that. And you don't have to necessarily cover the whole thing uh, you know, because it, it, it takes the vibration out. So putting it sort of in the center of the panel will do a lot of the work.
so all the sound deadening's now in, so all the um, dodo panels are now attached everywhere. Uh, I've not done the floor uh, because I'm putting the rails in and then this load mat is going to stay on the floor as well as insulation. Uh, whereas if, if you didn't have the load mat and you were just putting a normal floor in, then you could also put the panelling all across the floor. So that's all the sound deadening foams now gone on top of uh, the majority of the panels in the cavities. Uh, with those, they just want to be cut more to the contours um, and try and cover as much of the panels as you can, uh, following the edges, um, tucking them up inside any of the sort of accessible crevices with, with flat uh, panel that you can, can adhere it to. Um, and because I've had quite a lot left over, I've gone back and double skinned uh, the larger panels, so these side panels, um, the side door o over the wheel arches um, and also some extra on the tailgate, uh, just making sure that there's still enough room to put the 35mm um, actually sort of wadding insulation in because um, that needs you know enough room to provide the insulation rather than being compressed otherwise it won't work so well um, and also because I've not got uh, solid roof. I've not put any on the roof either, but normally you would put some on on the solid roof if you did have one um, And potentially some underfloor insulation uh, But because we're putting rails in the load mat is staying in as well um, uh, It's often recommended that you don't shove too much of the sort of loose wadding in the tailgate and in the side doors especially around the electric so uh, they're quite good places to double skin uh, the sound deadening foam as well because it, it's going to keep some of that wadding away and allow the electrics and the mechanisms to work sort of without fault um, and leave them accessible if you do need to get in and repair them as well so thanks for watching the video uh, please like and subscribe if you enjoyed it and uh, see you in the next one